Good morning, I'm Robin Williams. I'm an interventional radiologist. I'm going to demonstrate how to do a basic abdominal angiogram and then a selective angiogram of the right renal artery. We're going to start with a standard J-tip guide wire. And we're going to advance that into the abdominal aorta. about to the level of the diaphragm and then insert an access sheath we've chosen a six French sheath because that's large enough to allow us to insert stents and balloons if needed And I'm controlling the wire with my right hand and advancing the sheath with my left. Keeping my left hand as close to the patient as possible. And we'll advance the sheath into the distal abdominal aorta. Keeping control of the guide wire and then going to remove the dilator from the sheath. And that's done automatically by the computer on this system. You'll see it disappear there. We're then going to insert a pigtail catheter to allow us to do an aortic angiogram to give us some idea where the renal arteries are. It doesn't much matter whether it's a four or a five French pigtail in this case. So leaving the tip of the wire and the sheath in the same place, we'll advance the catheter over the wire. And in these circumstances, you need an assistant or long arms. So my right hand is now controlling the back end of the wire. The sheath is controlled by my left hand, by my little finger. And then my index finger and thumb are advancing the catheter. And we'll see that appear in the abdominal aorta. Again, as always, the aim is to keep the tip of the guide wire in the same place. Advance the pigtail catheter past the level of the renal arteries, which you'll know is, at, generally speaking, at the junction between the L1 and the L2 vertebrae. And then we remove the guide wire. At this stage, we'll do an aortic angiogram. And we're going to use the pump injector and we'll set that at 20 mils injected at 50 mils a second. Subtracted run. And an injection there. And on the left-hand reference screen, you can see the renal artery. On that particular image, we've got some lumbar arteries overlying the renal artery. So it might be worth just adjusting the angle, see whether we can throw those off. And we'll come into a little bit of a right anterior oblique. And centre back over the right kidney. Bring the caster back down a little. And this time we'll try doing a hand injection. Again, we've got a lumbar artery interfering with the picture, but a better view of the renal artery ostium. So at this stage, we need to remove the caster. So we'll re-advance the guide wire 
into the pigtail. Straighten the pigtail caster out. And again, this is something you generally do with an assistant controlling the sheath. You're aiming to keep the tip of the guide wire in exactly the same position and remove the caster. And we'll now change the caster for an appropriate shape for selecting the renal artery. Something like a Cobra 2 shape in a 4 or 5 French is about right. And then reinsert the caster. And we're going to take the tip of the caster past the level of the renal artery ostium and remove the guide wire. As always, basic principles, guide wire first when advancing catheters. But we're then going to withdraw the catheter and hopefully engage the renal artery. So we'll torque the catheter so it's pointing out towards the right renal artery and then just gently withdraw and we should see it just drop in. See the change in deflection of the catheter. And we'll inject a little bit of contrast just to confirm our position. Okay, and we've got a good renal artery angiogram there. If we need to go a little bit more selectively, we can advance a guide wire through the catheter into the main renal artery. We need to change our guide wire for a standard 035 angled glide wire. Keeping the catheter in position, just going to advance the guide wire. I have to be very careful because it will straighten the caster. If I'll try and fall out of the vessel, as it's doing here. Just torquing the guide wire, advancing it down the vessel. Adjusting the position of the caster until we are far enough out. And then now fixing the guide wire in place. Gently advance the caster. And you might need to torque the caster a little bit. And at the moment the caster doesn't want to advance, so we can see whether by giving it more support from the sheath, we'll allow the caster to go a little bit further into the vessel. Just like that. And at this stage we'll remove the guide wire. Just a little injection of contrast to make sure not, we're not impacted into a small branch. We are. So we'll just withdraw the caster a little bit. You can see it deflecting the sheath first. Just a little bit of rotation helps withdraw. Another small injection to confirm position. And at this stage, we'll do a subtracted run. And a good right renal artery angiogram, seeing upper and lower major pole branches.